All right, so what we're going to do is a bit of a clap in here. Okay, so what I've got set up already is a 24 gauge connected all the way to my vise, which is solid, it's not moving. This is some um, 0.3 micro, which I'm going to leave on there so it can spin nicely while I'm clapping. We have several of these spinners, fishing spinners, always good to have. And the 24 gauge here is just tied on to one of these connectors. To set it all up, it's pretty simple. You can always spin off the wire just to get it uh, nice and straight. So it is quite loose in here. So all I'm gonna do is insert this wire into here, and get it nice and straight. And the way I'm gonna do it is just by attaching it to this by literally tying it up on here. So it's gonna stay nice. And I'll just pull the drill along and do it a little bit more. Get it held in position. The, the most important thing with this is get it nice and tight because it might snap and then the day if it does it's not a major issue. Hold that bit off there and then you'll be able to see this. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off slowly just to get it started. Okay. And that's it there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Pull this nice and tight, so the wire is quite tight here. I'm gonna to have to zoom in a bit, I think, and then you'll be able to see this as it happens, okay? So it's nice and tight, my fingers are holding this wire pretty much as tight as I can hold it without, well, you can't hold it any tighter than I am, to be honest with you. So now I'm just gonna start off slow, And what you can do is you can see it's holding it at a 90 degree angle and it's sort of like a minus so more towards the drill than away from the drill because if you hold it away from the drill you can see it's getting a bit of a gap so I'm going to hold it back and then once it's I can see that it's getting nice and tight I'll hold that angle and I'll just speed up Like I said, this is what might happen. Okay, so it snapped. So it's not a major issue. All we do is undo this. That's come out. I'll zoom back out again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it back in. And tighten this up. It does happen, so just bear with it. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but you know, when you're doing a video, it's guaranteed to happen. So again, I'm just gonna hold that tight, start this off again, and we'll take you throughout the whole end, hopefully. Okay then, so that's back in the drill now. So I'm going to start this off slowly and then speed up. So, you can see down here that this wire is a little bit caught up, so let's just fix that. And then that should feed nice and easy. Let's start that again.
Let's come out again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off, pull it off, and then start again. That's enough. And then hopefully you'll be able to see this. That's nice and tight all the way along, which is what you want to look for, all right? Let's just get that sorted. So nice and tight. As you can see here, the tighter the better to be honest with you, that's what you want it to be, nice and tight. Right, so we're now at the end, so I'm just going to keep going and then I'll show you how to tie it off. Okay, now we're in. So we're right near the end. This will show you what's happening with the wire as well. It's a bit, uh, a little bit of a spider's mess at the minute, but it should be fine for what I'm going to do. But you'll see what happens. So as I'm doing it, this will automatically unwind itself. That's done there now. All you've got to do is snip this off and then keep a hold of this because you can undo that. The wire will spool if you don't, so make sure you wrap it up and tie it up. And I'll just drill a hole in here if I haven't got a bandaloon. So just a, a small hole, drilled it in here, pull it tight, push it back through the center if you really want to. Get a pair of pliers and pull it through and that is not going to unwind itself. That's the worst thing that can happen with this type of wire is basically massive spider's web when it unwinds itself. So remember keep it tight. Alright, now I'll show you this close up if you give me 10 seconds. Alright, so here's all of the spinners off right now and there's the 24 gauge and there is the nichrome wrap going all the way along nice and tight just what you want it to look like so that was the clapton build uh, i hope you enjoyed it it was fun to do it's just a case of and i'll, I'll give you something clapton's are fun they, they take a little bit of practice you will get the uh, wire snapping off from the drill you will get the wire going back on itself you will get the wire not being as tight as you want it to be you literally want it to be as tight as you can around that wire without any major gaps unless you're doing a spaced clapping which we'll do in another day because i'm still mastering that one myself i can get it to work but i have to use some extra special tools to do that uh, which cost nothing because everyone's got them um but this is a lovely little bill it comes in point two basically all right, 62 watts, and it's safe. It's really nice. Massive clouds. Flavor's really good. I mean, I've got salted caramel macchiato on the go and the maple bar donut, and they're lovely, really are. If you like a nice, sweet, like, cakey vape, it's the one. It's really nice. It's, it's going to be sold out this weekend for sure. So... To summarize, 
The thinner gauge wire you use on the clapping side of things, the easier it is to clap them. If you're using thicker wire, like I was using 0.3, it's quite thick that. Um, usually I use a 39 gauge, which is literally a 0 0.0 nine I think it's like it's less than a tenth of a mil it's like angel hair basically but the beautiful thing about that is it's very malleable it's very you know it's, it's very loose it, you can it doesn't so like as you can see with this it, this is very springy all right it, uh, uh, ding very springy indeed the thicker the wire you use the more you bend it the more it's going to hold its shape all right this is the clap that I made this is some twisted wire that I made. And again, this is very springy as well, but the thicker the gauge you use, the more chance of it holding that shape. So when you're doing the clapping, thin wire on the outside, I'm doing the wraps. 24 gauge, I think it's one of the perfect um, gauges to use for the core. You can use a single core, you can use a twisted core. I could probably get away with this, which if you can see this, if I hold it like that, you might be able to see it. So this is a twisted with 24 gauge and the wire that I use for the clapping, the 0.39200. .39 and that I'll clap them with the 39 gauge quite nicely. Okay? And it'll be a very spectacular build because it's lots of nice wire molded together quite nice. So Thin wire for the clapping side of things, a thicker gauge wire for the core element, and you can practice on the single core. When you get into two and three cores, it gets a little bit more difficult because you want to try and hold that shape so it's more like a staple. So it's like the two wires are cut always are like that, and it's nice and flat all the way along the line. When you get into doing them, it's a little bit more difficult because you've got to take a little bit more time. And then when you do space clapping, it takes even more time and I need glasses to see myself doing that because that it's such a fine gauge of doing a wrap, missing a wrap, doing a wrap, missing a wrap, doing a wrap, missing. There's a lot of precision needed there, and to do that, I'm probably going to need a magnifying glass because I'm getting old now. But I can still do it, and I know if I put my mind to it, then it's you know I could do it. I reckon I can. But then the day if it, if it makes a mess, it's like you know for the cost of canful. Who cares? It's only a couple of quid for a couple of, like, 10 metres. It costs nothing. And if you can get good at making them, you can make coils like this, which are lovely, and you get massive clouds, tons of flavour, and it just, it works. And that's the best thing about when you've created something that you've made yourself, like, I can make a fire. It's a really good feeling. So don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Send any comments in of anything you want me to build. And if I can do it, I will. If I can't, then I won't. But I'll give it a go, okay? Oh, yeah. Such a satisfying rib. Snoof, like a good one. So for me, it's goodbye, and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Vape safe. And practice your clapboards. Go, 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 go,